Oh. Jungle Strike! Oh! Oh, are you... Oh yeah, you're playing this, right? Play what I want. You gonna get on my case? Right. You gonna fight? That's no, right. what I, 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 I no, I, 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 I was actually curious because I, I didn't know what it was. Of course you don't. You're too young. You weren't there, man. Back in the day. Back in the day, Ted. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta enter a password. <laughs> because this is back in the day. <laughs> what? Gotta enter a password! Because this is back in the day? That's right, back when we didn't have save features, we just had passwords, damn it! What game was. What, what, was, what was this console on again? Sega Genesis. Uh, we had save points by that time, damn it. Uh, no, we didn't. Uh, Josh. Uh, yeah. Uh, we had save points by the Genesis man. No, we didn't. The only game that 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 had that was was Sonic Three, on the Genesis anyway. They were they were difficult to implement. Most games still used. Password systems. Is that a problem? Did, did most Genesis games not have a battery backup system? No! No, that was very unusual. If. Like, I, I don't think that. I don't think freaking. Uh, Sonic even used the battery system. That's actually surprising me to me. I, like. I don't know. Maybe it's because, like, I grew up with the SNES, so, like, I'm too used to that being a thing by the 16-bit era. Yeah, well... A lot of... I mean, a lot of SNES games still use passwords, actually. Uh, the only one that I can think of offhand was Super Castlevania 4. Maybe the other Castlevania games, I'm not sure, but, you know. Yeah, save points weren't the norm on consoles until... ...generation after that. Well, yeah, like, if you had, like, a PlayStation or a, uh... PlayStation, Saturn, N64, N64, that was yeah. standard then. But 16-bit was still very much ingrained in, there's a password to continue. Better write it down. Yeah. There we go. I have made it to the Snow Fortress, which is what I was trying to enter, was the password for the Snow Fortress. I mean, I, I, I'm a PC, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't say about, I, 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 uh, like, I'm, how do I, how do I explain this? I wouldn't necessarily say, like, I am a PC guy, but I guess these days I kind of am. Like I just don't, unless unless I can only play the like game on console. You know, I'll usually go with the PC version just on the basis of convenience for me. No, what are you gonna say? No, 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 it's... What are you gonna say? It's, it's Twitter, it's not... Oh, 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 okay, it's not worth it. 
Yeah, no, it, <laughs> never mind. As soon as you said Twitter, I'm like, never mind. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's, it's not worth it. Wait, your girlfriend called passwords cheating? Yes, because she didn't understand what I meant. You like By the time PlayStation rolled around, passwords were cheating. Because generally if you're adding a password in a more modern game, it's a cheat code. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Try, I want to beat this game. Have, have you ever beaten it before? No. This is one of the... Like, I, you, you kids don't know. Okay? You don't know anything! Heritable Dark Labyrinth. Souls is so hard. No, 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 no. I want you to play any of the strike games. Any of them! You tell me what hard is. <laughs> uh, no. Thank you. Coward! That's my opinion of you at this point. The only PlayStation game that had passwords was Crash 1? Wait, Crash 1 didn't have a save system? Uh, it did, but I think they did passwords as an option as well. In memory serves? Oh wait, yeah, right, because you needed to collect those three, uh, is it Tanya? Was his girlfriend? You need to collect those three Tanya heads in, in a level in order to save. Yeah, it was weird. Instead of Crash just, 1 is know. very weird, just in general. Yeah. Especially now that we have, you know, Crash 2 and 3. Yeah, Crash 2 is where they kind of started modernizing everything, and then Crash 3 is phenomenal. Probably one of my favorite PS1 games. Yeah, Cr Crash Bandicoot Warped is just top tier. Crash Bandicoot Warped! Ugh, I yeah, can't pull yes. that voice off. Can't pull that voice off. Away, oh, tank! I don't even want to fight you. <laughs> Tanks this level are freaking impossible, man. Uh, I mean, just shoot them until they die. Okay, okay. You say that. It it's not that easy. All right, it really isn't. Like, on the technical sense, that does work. But oh god, no! Get out of here! But they do so much damage per hit. See, the fact that you're bringing up, uh... The fact you're bringing up tanks is kind of giving me a bit of a flashback to what I was doing last night. What were you doing last night? Well, not a woman. I... Got it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ted. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, as Squidward, as Squidward would say, <laughs> why do I even? <laughs> uh, no. But I was doing the DLC missions. I think it was like Leonardo's Machines or whatever in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And one of them has you driving a tank. And, uh... I was trying to get 100% sync in all those missions. And... You were driving a tank in Assassin's Creed? 
Yeah, it's like because it's like a bunch of it, the plot is, is it's like a bunch of like machine prototypes that Leonardo da Vinci made. Oh, it's that tank. Okay. Yeah, it's like the big like circular thing. Yeah. And uh it, it, it controls about as well as a tank made in the 14 or 1500s would. Right, right, right. It yeah. I actually was trying my best to 100% sync those missions, and the only way I could manage to do it with the tank one was, um, after retrying it three godforsaken times, I, uh, <laughs> I actually ended up using an exploit that I found in a YouTube comment section where if you, like, back the tank out into an area where it's like, you know, like how in Assassin's Creed games when you, like, are exiting the mission and it's like, warning, desynchronization imminent, um, you can actually back the tank out into there. You can still shoot the tanks, but they can't shoot you. Ah. So, so the only way I basically could get through it was by glitching it, because... Because you suck, got it. Look, I, I didn't want to go through another 30... Goddamn minutes. I would adore watching you play Desert Strike. I really would. It'd be the I mean, funniest thing to me. I mean, to be fair, you've also said that about several other games that I've played, that you 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 wanted me to play in the past. I think, like, at one point when you were doing the whole uh, Silent Hill Shattered Memories playthrough, uh, you were like, I would love to see you play through this game. It'd be interesting. Yeah... I would adore watching this dude play Minecraft Bedrock PvP. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Neither do I. I know, I'm low on fuel, I'm fixing that. Relax, Jesus. Are you both uncultured? Yeah, we are both uncultured in the ways of Minecraft PvP. Yeah, I haven't played Minecraft in years. My son plays uh, Minecraft now. Yeah, and he I just haven't... likes building stuff, which is generally what I like doing in Minecraft. Like, like Minecraft PvP, I, I, I'm, I, I, I think I'll just build a nice treehouse, you know? I, You know, no judgment for me, it's just not, not my thing. Like and like, I haven't really been like, uh, I haven't really been into Minecraft since like 2014 or something. Oh god, not 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 good. What you said, good. What I just did. Sorry. <laughs> it's, no, no, it's fine. I I, I just I kind of fell out of it. I was like, eh. Yeah, it happens. I stopped following whatever new content Minecraft got once they added the end. They created an end goal which I never gotten to, but that's good enough for me. I mean, honestly, yeah, that's my biggest. <laughs> like, <laughs> I uh, are, are, are you are are you okay? This is what I'm talking about. Okay. And there goes your helicopter. Yeah, or, uh, that, or, was, or, that was good. Or 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 chopper or Huey or whatever the hell you're supposed to call this thing. This is a Comanche. No! 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 no. Oh my god, I hate them! I hate them! I hate them! I hate them! I hate them so much! Do you see what I'm talking about? Nobody <laughs> yes. believes me! Yes, I see what you're talking about now. Like, uh, legitimately though, like, I don't know the damn difference between, like, a Huey, a Chopper, Helicopter, Comanche. I don't know! I look at this thing with big rotating blades and I'm like, Helicopter. 
I mean, not incorrect, so fair enough. I think it was even more, like, confused, because, um... Excuse me. Is that what there I think it is? Oh what? my god! I didn't know that was here! What That's very helpful! Thank you, game! Thank you so much! What, I actually found it? an extra life, which is very, very, just violently unusual! I've never seen a tank sneak up behind someone till till now. Oh God! <laughs> uh, I I have, and funny enough, it was also from Josh's perspective. I took you with me, tank. It was. <laughs> oh God, Zachris, you just made me think back to Josh's old. Uh... I didn't mean to pick that up. God damn it. Uh, uh, Josh's old quest for a Titan uh, video on GTA 5. Yeah, that's what Kane was referencing yesterday. Uh, <laughs> so I was trying to beat this level last night, and it wasn't going. It was it was going about this well. Uh, same same energy, really. It, that, it <laughs> sounds tough. I mean, honestly, it sounds like the biggest issue is the fact that you're controlling a helicopter. No. No, it really is the fact that the tanks are just like die, and, and then I do uh, without any recourse. It, it's just one of those things. It, 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 is Teddy here? No, Fairchild. I'm not. I'm not Teddy. No, he's I'm, not. Uh, he could be anybody. I, I'm, I could. I, I could. I, I could be anybody. I, I could. I could be Kane. I could be Duck. You're not. I'm not. No. Stop lying to them. <laughs> uh, there was a movie that I saw when I was a little kid. It, it, uh, it was called Short Circuit. I'm not sure like how popular it is. Um, but there was a uh, there was a character in the movie, which I'm pretty sure was he was played by uh, uh, Arlie Army. Uh, I think that's that, that's his name, right? Um, <clears throat> And, uh, and he played, like, the chief of security at a, uh, at a robotics company. And at one point in the movie, he was, like, yelling at the dude who, like, uh, who leads the robotics company. And he, because one of the robots escapes, and he's, and he's like, I want choppers and, I, I, I want Hueys out there, I want tanks, I want men, I want everything. And then the, the head's like, it's like, Hueys? That's what they call helicopters now, Howard. And he's like, but, but I thought they were called choppers. Well, now they call them Hueys. That's just one like, kind of helicopter. Y yeah. Again, like, I don't know what makes a specific helicopter a specific helicopter. My well, knowledge about these vehicles should. is... Maybe but, you I should know these things. You play Call of Duty. That means you're an expert on war. Josh. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Josh. I... <laughs> yeah, coming from the same series, which has a six-round cylinder revolver, which can somehow hold 12 rounds. See? You know that. that's wrong! Look at you! <laughs> yeah, I, but I know more about guns than I do vehicles. Shame. Teddy, I have a question. What silly strings would you pull on us to become a... Is this a... Is this a reference I don't get? He's like, he's like, what strings would you pull on us to become a big shot, big shot, big shot? I'm like, is this like a reference I don't get or something? You don't want to be a big shot? I... I don't you want to be a I big mean, shot? I mean, doesn't being a big shot usually imply that you're being an ass? Gotta be a big shot. Oh, it's a Delta Rune reference. It's a Delta oh, Rune reference. Yes. Yeah, uh, Cordage. I hate to break it to you, uh, man or or girl. I don't know. Whatever you are, uh, I don't know anything about Delta Rune. Are the bullets short? I don't know. Teddy's the, the, Teddy's no fun. See, he doesn't play anything fun. I play the Yakuza series, your argument is immediately invalid. That's not that fun. Uh, 
really, says the guy who went through zero Kiwami 1 and Kiwami 2. <laughs> but, uh, I oh, never, but I never I never said I was having fun. Oh, were you having fun though? Exactly. That's not really the point, Ted, that I'm trying to make here. I think you're I think you're missing what I'm trying. No, I, I, you're, I, I, you're not picking I, up I, what I'm putting down, Ted. You're not picking well, it up. That's obvious. You're not Josh, picking the, it up, Ted. But the Yuck, I, the Yuck is a game. Yeah, the Yuck is a games do have memes, and arguably, I, I, I actually, uh, oh god, that, that, uh, ooh, ooh, that brings up something really bad that happened earlier in the week. Uh, did it? So, uh, well, not really bad, but more so just fan bases taking pot shots at one another. So, somebody posted like an out-of-context, uh, like, clip from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and was like, oh, I don't boy. know how you, I, I don't know how anyone could take this weeb trash seriously. Oh, boy. And it's like, and, and, and then, like, somebody was like, somebody in the comments was like, uh, w was like, it was like, it was like, uh, oh yeah, well, the, the Yakuza games are meme games, and they're still fun. And I'm like, I hate everything because, like, like, like Not doing that. Not really the same comparison, but okay. Well, because uh, like, because like, what they did essentially was like putting, like, okay, what they essentially did, like, the clip that they posted was like, if I posted like nothing but like Baka Mitai or like anything from Majima Everywhere and Kiwami One, and was like, oh my God, look how funny this game series is, and I it's mean, like, it. That's fair. Well, I mean, yeah, like, it is fair, but, like, that's that's not the basis around the whole series. It's, like, memes are not the, like, the basis for what, like, the, for what, like, the, 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 um... For what for, the like, series actually is about. Y yes. Unless you're doing something, like, intentionally to play off of memes. Like, like, like what he was saying, like, with Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. But, like... <laughs> no! Uh, what? Oh, tank. Scary. <laughs> so, would you say they're more dangerous here, or more, or more dangerous in the military base in GTA V? Here. Okay, fair enough. Or if someone's entire basis for Metal Gear Rising was Maxor's plot summary. Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, oh, yeah, that was, that, that video. I can't watch that video because, unfortunately, like, I, I love Maxor's humor, but his editing style legitimately, like, gives me motion sickness. Um, that's nothing against him, personally, it's just, like, I can't watch it without feeling sick. But I, but yeah, it's like, it's like if, uh... Once you begin to, be to believe in the Flat Earth, you start to see a whole new world. A world without boundaries! Oh yes, yeah, Senator. That's a nice argument. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> you know they actually got Raiden and Armstrong's voice actress to do those lines. Really? Yeah, they actually did those lines. It became such a big, like, popular meme that they got, um, they got Raiden and, and Armstrong's voice actors to reenact that. Rhino tanks, those things are useless by today's standards. Because, <laughs> so. I, because, I mean, from what I'm seeing here, they seem very viable. <laughs> In this particular situation. Memes, the DNA of the soul. <laughs> but yeah, it's like... CAN YOU EVEN SEE THE CURVATURE OF THE EARTH FROM UP HERE?! <laughs> Josh is screaming like a monkey. Monkey magic! Come on, monkey! Monkey magic! Come on, monkey! <laughs> what the hell? Go away! No! No! Go away! Get out of here! Get the f- <laughs> Get out of here! I'm not- yeah, I'm destroying these missiles and you can't do anything to stop me! 
I used to play PvP games with tanks, APCs, and helicopters. And, he and why did I pronounce it like that? Helicopters. APCs, helicopters. Run. That, that, that's what he said. It's literally spelled APC. APC. Stop being PC, guy. This is a non-PC Discord server. Oh, uh, no, 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 no not at all, I'm, not at all, I'm, do I'm, not advertise I'm, that, no, 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 I, I, I should kind of mention, problems, I, I, we don't I need should, these kind of problems, Ted! Yeah, no, 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 I should mention, I am 100% kidding, if you come into the Discord server, please, for the love of God, be PC. We don't discriminate in the Discord server. You can be anything you want. Uh... When did you guys last play GTA Online? I That's actually... The love of... SUFFER! Uh... <laughs> A tank. How are they so accurate with that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually last played the Xbox Series X build of... GTA Online, which surprisingly enough is the best I ever got that game to run on anything. Because for whatever reason, it would not run well on my PC no matter what I did, and yet the Series X version runs like friggin' Grease Lightning, and I don't know why. <laughs> Fairchild's like, here in the wild, we can see the Josh in his natural habitat. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> listen, you don't understand what I'm going through, okay? I haven't gone past this mission because of the tanks, and for no other reason! Oh, tanks a lot. No, 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 no! no. <laughs> Be gone! Be gone, scourge of... of... How is this, is this mission not over yet? No! No! Oh, for the love of all that is holy, I swear that... <laughs> Tanks. So many of them. Can you not, like, back up and hit them from a distance? Like, does your gun reach they... that far? Oh, I can hit them, but they can also hit me. Ah! That's the those... problem. One of those instances. Yeah, it's great. It's fun. I'm having fun. I'm having so much fun, you guys. And I think I know what's wrong. What? The game lied to me. Josh's worst enemy is the tanks of the snow. <laughs> I mean, you go and play a game like, uh... GTA Online, and then, yeah, like, the, the, the tanks are a problem there. I never noticed tanks were as much as a problem in, uh, in Saints Row the Third, though. Oh, that's what I have to do. Okay. Well, that's really friggin' annoying. Great. What if the British Rail logo is controlling those tanks? I knew it. <laughs> Your greatest adversary. Rail. Go away, helicopter. Are there any movies that are like, like Top Gun but replaced like F-14s with helicopters? Well, there was one with uh, Tommy Lee Jones in it. I only saw a little bit of. It. I don't know what it was called though. Uh, let me see if I can't find it. Firebirds. There you go. 
I just literally, I literally just searched up uh, Tommy Lee Jones helicopter movie. Oh, it's got a 10% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, it wasn't great, but it's Tommy Lee Jones, so it could be worse. <laughs> yeah, he could be playing Two-Face. Oh, I thought I had another life! I would've been way more careful otherwise. Son of a... <laughs> uh, how rare did you say extra lives are in this game? Well, I had... I got one. The problem is the stupid tanks! Tanks. Did Josh commit cannibalism by shooting another Comanche? That wasn't a Comanche, that was, an, that was a Russian Havoc, I think. It's clearly not the same helicopter. Yes, it is. All helicopters are the same. No, just they're like not! All, just, just like all trains and boats are the same. I'll kill you! <laughs> you are more than welcome to try. Oh, please. <laughs> Wait, actually, you have a sword, right? I have two. Shit. Then, uh, no. I take that back, then. I have an official Red Rider Carbine Action 200-shot range model air rifle. That's nice. You'll shoot your eye out, kid! Why do I think the AA guns are like the ones the Germans use today? The NBS Vantis? Is that what it's called? It, it might look like it. Most of the stuff in the, these games are modeled after real-world weapons, so it wouldn't surprise me. I do have to say, for using, like, pseudo-3D models, the, the game actually doesn't look that bad. No, it's a really... They, like, the strike games are great. Just in general. I've never heard of this series, actually. It's a pretty obscure... It, it, I mean, I wouldn't say it's pretty obscure, but it, it... It has a very loyal core fan base. And nothing outside of that. Like, it's one of those series that's like... Like, did you play the Strike games? Then then you know they're great. Did you not play the Strike games? Then you know nothing about them. What about, like, like would it be, like, along the same lines as, like, Dr. Man? Uh, I mean, I, 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 I guess it's not inaccurate to say that. I'm only just thinking of, like... I don't know, like, the, the the only other series on the Genesis that I can think of. Teddy on the spot was unable to convince Portage Opal, Opal Z to not kill him after insulting old cars. 
<laughs> I didn't insult old cars, though. Yes, you did. But how? I heard what you. did I say? Is called the. I I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. <laughs> Josh, if you want to go for it, you go ahead. I'm not going to even try. It is called the... Nox Benreich Shoot System! There you go. If I had tried that, I guarantee you I probably would have offended every single goddamn German person on the planet. Don't worry, I mispronounce things all the time, and everyone loves me, obviously. That's why I have an entire server dedicated to angry comments, I guess. <laughs> Ow! They got me. I was trying to get the armor to avoid that entirely, but I had to kill that helicopter before I did it, and they got me. Power line mission again. Are you and okay? It's 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 that mission. Oh. The one where the game is like, okay, let's just put a bunch of tanks here. <coughs> but will the player be able to deal with that? I don't know. Not my problem. Son of a- 
Ah, that's good censoring. Something is causing my allergies to kick up. We are allergic to 16-bit quality gameplay. <coughs> my second favorite game of all time is 16-bit. Shut up. You know, I don't think that's true. It is. Donkey I Kong Country 2. You just made that. That's not 16-bit. Yes, it is! It's on the Super Nintendo! No, it's not. Yes, it is. Now you're making it up. Josh. Mm. Mm. Dog Dog Country mm. didn't even get a sequel. What? Dog Dog Country didn't even get a sequel. Ugh. You're making this whole thing up. You're gonna trigger so many Why are you lying people. To people? You're gonna trigger so many people. You're the one you're the one over here lying. What? You're lying to us. Chat, help me. <laughs> <laughs> There's no help for you. <laughs> the proto-galactic horse wishes to see you troopers are wacky. Obstacle course. Have you all signed the papers? <laughs> uh oh. Look, 
I grew up on the original Super Mario Brothers. I don't think you did. I did. No, I had the G. I had the GBA Classic uh, cartridge pack. Don't oh, get out of here. That's not. That's not the original. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's in a collection. It's not the same. It's not a collection. It's literally like okay. You remember how like the GBA had like those like gray cartridges that were literally just old NES games? That's what I had. No, you're making it up. Oh, for Christ's sake. Why are you lying to people? Why are you lying to... I, I don't have a clever retort to this. You don't have a clever retort? That's why you got nothing... You got nothing to say, do you? Liar. Hey, Josh, there's a tank to your left. I already got it. No, you didn't. Why are you lying to people? Okay, I mean, there probably is at this level. <laughs> probably Knowing is. my luck at this point, I mean. <laughs> really, I, like... I, 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 I'm willing to believe that. Like, it's like I don't see it, but it doesn't mean it, it's not there, given my luck so far with the way this level is going and the way however many goddamn times I've tried to replay it. <laughs> Scream. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. I just came, I just came out of nowhere. Get out of here! RKO out of nowhere! Oh. <sighs> Excuse me. The plan was to kill that dude, and and I blew up the- it's okay. You know what? It doesn't even matter. I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't. I don't care. I don't care. Ah! I care about that! <laughs> <laughs> At this point, like, every single tank is like the, uh, the face that lunges out of the darkness in Cry of Fear. Uh oh, okay. I survived! If only the USAF was here, but this game has no USAF. That one gave Josh a, a one second seizure and then bailed out of his chair. Yes, I know this is a danger zone, and I still don't know why. Tank. Well, yes, but the danger zone makes the enemies even stronger. And I'm not sure why this is doing that, because this is the next mission. So logistically, it shouldn't be a danger zone anymore. It's a it's a way to for the game to make sure you do the missions in order. It makes all the enemies stronger, it makes them harder to kill, it makes them do more damage, it makes them shoot faster. Really, you just shouldn't be in a danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. Sorry, I, I watched Top Gun Maverick last night, so that song stuck in my head. Yes. Oh, that was no, great. No, movie. no, no, no! God has abandoned I... me. God has abandoned you. <laughs> That's where I'm at with this. I, I think God would stay far away from this. What the? F That is the face of, of regret right there. I didn't do anything. <laughs> no, I know. I know, it's like...
I I saw what happened. It wasn't even on screen. It was like below that part where the camera's supposed to pan down. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I thought it was run away to the danger zone. I always thought it was highway to the danger zone. Am, pretty am, sure. Am I'm I pretty wrong? sure it's highway. And then, like the next one is like is like run away to the danger zone. I I could be very wrong though. You know that the USS New Jersey sunk an island? That's kind of made up. It's not <laughs> really. It's, it's it's. How is it kind of made up? It's kind of made up. They 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 shot at an emplacement on a small island, and the island there wasn't much left of the island after that. Yeah, that'd do it! But that happened a few times during the war, so it wasn't like it was... ...unusual. Son of a- I wasn't even in there! M1 battle tank? Yeah, I know, it's a lot of tanks. So many tanks. Way too many damn tanks.
So how's it going? It's going! Alright, good. Said it was going, I never said it was good. <laughs> Means better than going bad. Okay, so, everybody get together for a grand old time, because it is time now once again for this stupid, STUPID Power Station Mission, for all I have to do. Blow up the power station. That's it. You got this. That's all I have to do. And you would think, logistically, that that would be not that difficult. And you would be very wrong about that assessment. Doesn't seem like it would be that difficult. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> You're not funny. You yeah, think man, I you're funny, in you. You, 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 but you're I believe not in you, man. funny. I believe, I believe Nothing in you, man. Nothing about this is funny. I, and if I, I have it. to throw everything at this stupid power station before the stupid tanks actually kill me this time, I'll you do got, that, but I don't it. understand why this is so difficult. You it's got this, man. I believe just in you. The pow I mean, I know why. It's because they put, like, 80 tanks in that one spot for reasons uh, unknown. I would say it's closer to 90. Shut up. <laughs> I didn't ask for your opinion, Ted. It's okay. I would, okay. No, no, you know what, no. It's actually not okay. It's not okay. Nothing about this has been okay so far. And and all I, I want to do I, is beat this man. That's all. That's all I want to do. Is this one of those, like, you've, like, it's been haunting you since you were a kid? I never actually got to this level as a kid. So I was oh. entirely unfamiliar with this stage until last night. And now I'm like, well. Hold on. Does this actually work? Okay, that took way more damage than it should have, but again, danger zone, that's why. But it's dead, and that alone is a nice thing to realize. You know, it's one of those things, one of those little nice, a little treat from the game. It's like, here, here's a tank that doesn't know you're there, even though you're blasting it into oblivion. You are witnessing a man going through the, pro the, going through the definition of insanity. <laughs> you 
Yes, I know I have low armor game. You don't need to tell me that. I'm aware of the problem. Okay, I, I know. I, I know. I, I... So long, and thanks for all the pain. <laughs> Why do you have to destroy- I already destroyed the, the station. I think I can let them keep the lines, you know? But no, mission parameters say you have to destroy the lines, too. Okay. okay I mean... Fine. You can rebuild the oh! station. <laughs> you got it, you got it, you got it. Okay, okay, I got it. I have decent amount of fuel, three lives, max armor, and a good amount of weaponry. I can do this. Just, just keep it safe. Don't get cocky. I'm it, it, uh, no. <laughs> what do you mean no? I'm, just, I'm trying to. Oh God, I'm trying to help, man. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, I, 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 I won't give you helpful advice. Fine. You know, you'd think that dude with the RPG or whatever it is wouldn't be that accurate against a helicopter. Eh, could be a Stinger missile launcher. It could be. Actually, it's a bit of a dumb question. How are you able to aim and, like, move in different directions at the same time? Oh! That's easy. Uh, combat helicopters, uh, you just only have two pilots. Uh, one, uh, well, they have one pilot, but the, and another, the co-pilot is specifically responsible for shooting. Oh, no, 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 I, I figured that, I'm just like, is there, like, a separate button to aim and in a different direction while you're moving? Oh, you mean, the, the game auto-aims. Oh, okay. I yeah. Didn't know that. I, thought you, I, I thought you had to aim manually. No, 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 that no, would, no, no. <laughs> that, that would make this even more of a nightmare than it already is. Low fuel, low fuel, hold on. I think there's, there should be fuel somewhere. No crates over there. Fuel! Yes, there is fuel on the map. Excellent.
I have one life left. You got this, man. Do I? I believe in you. I have to find this last freaking warhead. The problem yeah, is the game it. doesn't mark them because they're supposed to be hidden, which is really sweet and all. Also, it's really freaking annoying. Ooh, ooh, wait. Okay, hold on. Frick out of the way. Please tell me that's the last one. Yes! 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 Go! 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 Run! 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 To where? Back to my base. How close is it? Close enough. Alright, just, just keep it easy. You did it! Yeah! You did it! <laughs> Can we get some applause in the America! chat? America! Can we get some applause in the chat, people? <laughs> that actually, I was like afraid to breathe. I was like, please, please do it. Oh yeah, be sure to get your password. Glad to see you made it back from the cold. Yeah, thanks, Jackass. The Jug Lord's secret airstrip is located in this jungle sector. Reclaim the stolen F-117 stealth fighter from the airstrip and blow away their operations. The stealth has automatic propulsion with a nuclear generator, so there's no need to refuel. It is also equipped with unlimited ammo loads. What? Once it commanded the stealth, the enemy silver. <laughs> Wait, how? <laughs> Let's go get that stealth fighter. Thousand men, fifty thousand tons of steel. Did I just run into?
Now I get to destroy his drug fields. No more cocaine for you! Oh, I see how I died that easily. If the F-117 runs into anything, it just explodes, which, to be fair, makes sense. Uh... <laughs> Ugh. It's actually very hard to control, not gonna lie. Does it, like, not control anything similar to the helicopter? Well, it's always moving forward. It's a plane. Ugh, okay, so that, yeah, that makes that makes sense. And I could bump into things with the Comanche and not die immediately. The F-117 isn't like that. So, it, in a way, it's easier because I have infinite ammo, and it's very, very hard to, for them to actually hit me because I'm much faster. But on the other hand, it's harder because you can't stop moving. Right, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. Use a tip if you have a dog, yell German at it so when it barks, it shuts up quicker. I feel like if you yell almost anything at a dog, it'll probably be quiet because you're scaring it. That's kind of how dogs tend to work. Oh, come on! That was... That was bullshit. Half the difficulty of this map is not running into anything.
Mission three complete. Patriots. Hunt down and destroy the six Patriot missile launchers. This valuable technology must be taken away from the madman before it is used against our forces. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, hitting this thing is really weird. That one, finally, that took forever. Oh, up and down does control the altitude. Hmm. That kind of changes it a bit. Does it make it easier, harder? Uh, I mean, if I'm higher, it means I bump into less, so that's nice. Neat.
Yeah, crap. What happened? Oh, I just slammed headlong into a fuel silo. Uh, that didn't see. That is that is not what you're supposed to. No, do no, no. That play. was. I mean, I mean, I I destroyed it. I was supposed to destroy it. And that's what I did. Yeah, but generally, isn't the goal to also survive the assault? Eh, depends on the situation, I guess. It's really hard to hit them, uh, without slamming into them. That's the difficulty of this mission. Not the...
Ai, ai, ai. Well, I fly like an eagle, 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 into the future. <laughs> You're enjoying yourself. This is a pretty fun level now that I've gotten the hang <laughs> of it. And there's no fucking tanks. Well, there are tanks, but they're having trouble hitting me. Well, I mean, you're too fast. It's not like you're flying the friggin'... Apache, not Apache, um, Comanche. Comanche, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm too used to hearing Apache. Um, uh, so I imagine, like, your increased mobility is probably making it harder for them. Yeah, I say as I ram into a tower. <laughs> that, was, that was good. That was good. I should have stayed focused, but no, 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 no. Oh my god, this guy's name... I have a guy in my game whose name is Pen, Lord of Is. I got it! Yep! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bungee naming system. A lot of people have, like, very amusing names on this game. And, ah! other, and then other people just have names about thirsting for a particular character. Son of a! Oh, these fuel silos! It, that seems to be the main cause of your death now, is just ramming into those things by accident. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's tough! Oh my god, he's on Xbox. Hey, 
and immediately I don't want to interact with them anymore. Suffer! Wait, why are you a helicopter now? Because I game because I game over and had to restart the level. Oh, wait, do you not stop? Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. I thought you just started as... The first mission is to get the F-117. Gotcha. Somebody in the chat says, good evening from Italy. Hello, from America. No. No. Can I never manage to kill that thing? What thing? Uh, so I'm playing a, a game mode where, like, you do certain objectives and then move on. There's a specific enemy in one of the objectives that seems to be, like, Everybody always completes the objective before they're able to kill the enemy. So it's like, why even put it there when everyone's just going to complete the objective before they kill him? Why don't they just kill the enemy? Uh, because it doesn't really do much. Cowards. I guess so. Like, I, I threw my super at him, and, uh, nope. What are you playing? Destiny 2. Oh, okay. What the hell are you talking about? Supers and shit. It's, no, I'm not playing, like, I don't know, like, what's another, like, game that has supers? I don't know, League. that's why I asked what you were playing! Like, as I know, League and That's Overwatch, Ultimates. Yeah, calls them Ultimates. Competing for cash prizes, here come the Vex. But, yeah. Oh, I actually got a call from my, uh, or, or I didn't call, get a call. I called my job yesterday. Do you actually have a schedule now? Yes, I'm working Sunday. Oh, good. Next One week. day. Next week. Oh, oh, in a week. I am going four weeks without a shift. G great. This is a wonderful job. I like working there. I just... You need I'm more hours. Working. Yeah, it's like, I never thought I'd say, like, for the love of God, can I please go back to work. Yeah, no, it gets annoying. I, I wouldn't put up with that. Like, that isn't good enough. I don't have any money left. I meleeed an explosive enemy. I love working there. I just wish I worked there. Yeah, that's that's pretty much my how my how I'm feeling. Uh, to be honest, in Sacris. I like working there. I, I just wish I could work there. Yeah, yeah. That'd be that'd be that'd be that's a big part of work is is actually working. And the strange thing is, like, like the the job that I have is very very easy. What do you I do? Essentially just, I basically just, you know, organize the store, I help out with putting stuff on the floor, and, you know, when somebody comes in and they're like, Hey, I'm looking for a so-and-so game, I'm like, oh, uh, I can look that up Wait, and see Wait, you don't ring people that. up? No, I can't. I, I'm not allowed to with my current position. Oh, that's probably why you don't have that many hours, then. Yeah, I am... Why aren't you a... What? Like, you're not a teenager, why would they not train you on that? I don't know. Uh, I I don't know, man. Okay, let's see. Let's see what is on the back?
nobody, whole... Teddy, nobody wants to work anymore. Uh, I, it, Especially it, not you. Yeah, me who has like two or three dollars in his bank account. Yeah, nobody wants to work. Nobody at all. What, what, what an alien concept, wanting to gain money. I cannot stress enough how much that irritates me, man. Figure they want you train well trained ASAP. I, you know I would too. My store in particular has a till very high trained. turnover rate. A uh, till trained? What does that mean? You don't know what till is? No. It, it it it's 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 English for cash register basically. The till. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I I get you. We say register train here. Sorry, I like I don't real speak. Americans. Sorry, I don't speak UK. Well, why not? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Jesus, because I don't live in you have England. To go to the lift to get some fish and chips. Oh, for Christ's sake! <laughs> and then afterwards, maybe we can stop at the theater. There was a game, I think, it, if I remember correctly, it was called SAS Secure Tomorrow, and, like... It is I'm, autumn, after all. Well, no, like, so, hear me out, hear me out, uh, and, and I apologize for anybody, anybody in the chat who's English, because I'm going to absolutely butcher this, but I don't care. Um, there is a, um... It's called SAS Secure Tomorrow, and it, it, it was a game, obviously, where you play as the SAS, and... The majority of the characters in that game speak basically like what Americans sound like when they're trying to imitate somebody from the UK. Oh, so God. Like, no, 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 it's not even, it's not that. It's like, it's like, it's like, I don't know, I know absolutely nothing. I want to go, t I want to go to the pub, have a pint, and then go home and tie off. Now piss off. And it's like... It's like, this is, I know for a fact this cannot be how people from England talk. You'd be surprised. If it is, then I'm sorry. It's just like, my my dumb American brain is like, this sounds stereotypical and like, absolutely like... That offends me. Uh, yeah, basically. Okay. Fuel Depot. We're gonna try this again. And we're gonna have a bit of a better go at it this time. What makes you say that? Shut the fuck up, Ted. <laughs> is that the LMS or the IMS? LMS. What does that stand for? London Midland and Skylish Railroad. Ah, okay. That one. You spin me right round, baby, right round like a F-170, right round, right round. If I keep spinning, I won't run into anything.
Son of a... I say as I run into something. <laughs> That's okay, though. I was very low armor, so I probably would have got shot down anyway. Now, as long as I don't do that again, it should be fine. There we go. Got another one. How many of these do I have to break? Enough to annoy me. Got it. Enough to annoy me. That's kind of where I'm at with it mentally right now. That, uh, that, I, I get that. You've got to be kidding me, man. No, 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 Xbox, the... Xbox 360 D-pad, why would you do that to me? Oh, you're playing with an Xbox 360 controller. I am! Okay. And it decided all of a sudden, oh, did you want to go a different direction? No, I don't! <laughs> Just looked that game up, and I'm laughing at the fact that one of the characters is so obviously meant to be John McClane. Yeah, that, that, uh, wouldn't surprise me. Which game? Uh, SAS Secure Tomorrow, the one that I was talking about with, like, British accents, got EXE. I hate this mission. Do you hate it more than the other one? You know, it's debatable. Because I feel like... <laughs> like, I'm not getting shot unfairly. I just feel like the game should target these a lot more readily. So you're saying it's like the auto-aiming system is kind of messing you up? Yeah, I mean, it's... I get why there's auto-aiming in this game, and I'm usually fine with it. It's t It works, but in this situation, it's not really going super great. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so according to Zachary, he says, no, not John McClane, the late John McLeese, I think is how you pronounce it. An that. actual SAS trooper. Yeah, okay, so, I, okay, I, I apologize. I didn't know that. Well, why don't you know that? Because I don't know SAS trooper names. Uh, uh, mission complete! Except I'm dead. <laughs> well, the mission's technically complete! It's like when you, like, kill a boss in a game, and it's like, no, because you died, like, five, like, five milliseconds after the boss did, that that doesn't count. I know the Dark Souls games do that a lot. Wait, why is remake trending? What what remake got announced? Okay, no, nope, I'm not opening that can of worms. What? Why? Uh, people are debating The Last of Us 1 Remake. You know what? Fair enough. I'm out too. 
I, I refuse. I refuse to deal refuse. with that fan base ever. Not doing it. Nope. I've already dealt with it, and it is basically the gamer equivalent of getting a colonoscopy with a cactus. Yep. Yep. That's actually about right. I uh, once I agree with you. I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> I mean, I like the original game, but like. Like, am I going to buy a, a PlayStation 5 and a $70 remake of that game just to play it? No, I bought the remaster on PS4 for 20 bucks, and for now that's good enough for me. People have been heavily buzzing about remakes of Metal Gear Solid's 1 through 3 over the last week. Wait, what? I mean, on one hand, that would be cool. On a... On the other hand, all I'm thinking of when I'm going through, uh, when I'm going through that in my head is how badly is Konami gonna fuck that up? Mm, they've been good about their collections lately. Yeah, but... <sighs> That's why I'm thinking it might be a, uh, like a PC port of the games or something. And I mean, not, that would be, and look, not that a, would be cool. And not actually a remake. Yeah, I'd be fine with that. I'd be totally down for that plan. Yeah, I, mean, like, I don't... I'm not sure how I feel about a remake, though. I mean, to be fair, Metal Gear Solid 1 already had a remake, and it's probably one of the most divisive things that they've ever done. Yep. Nope. Don't like it. It's... Don't like it. Don't like it. Play the original. It's better. From what I know, like, one of the main issues with the original... Well, not with the original, uh, what am I saying? With the Twin Snakes on GameCube is the aspect of, uh... Well, to put it bluntly, first-person aiming breaks the game in half. It's not as bad as people say it is. Is, is it not? Okay, well, then... then I mean, the original mind. game, at least to me, isn't even agonizing to difficult already, so whatever. And then Zachris. The objective problem with Twin Snakes is it uses all the movesets from MGS2, which break the level design of MGS2. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. <laughs> I didn't mean to start an argument. I didn't see that as a big deal. I really didn't care about that. I don't. I didn't like that they redid Naomi's voice. That was kind of my problem. And the Did fact they... And the fact that they went, like, super spy with Snake for no reason is really annoying. From what I know, like, it's 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 also very evident that whoever was, like, directing the cutscenes was really into the Matrix. Yeah, yeah, we got that. Which, eh. Hit that? You're kidding me. BS.
Okay! Fuel tanks! You know what I've always wondered about Metal Gear? Like, how much did Kojima have planned, and how much of it was just stuff he made up on the fly? Mm, I would say... It's hard to say. As a writer, I know there's plenty of ideas that I come up with well, well, well into, into the story structure already being established. So... It wouldn't surprise me if there were a lot of things he came up with well after the fact. Like, Ocelot being way more important than he originally was. Yeah. There was a lot of winging it after Metal Gear Solid 2. Well, see, I'd be willing to agree with you if it wasn't for the fact that the next game is Metal Gear Solid 3, and that's like the first game canonically in the entire franchise. Yeah, but he, that's that's arguably easier, because there's a lot he can make up using utilizing that. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know where most of the games in the timeline take place. I think the only two that I can remember right off the top of my head are that uh, 4 is the second to last one, and then Rising Revengeance, if you really want to consider it canon, is the, is the last game. It's... Canonically. The Canonically, it's three, then it's Peace Walker, then it's five, including Ground Zeroes, that's that's the same order. Then it's mm -hmm. then it's Metal Gear, then it's Metal Gear 2, then it's Metal Gear Solid, then it's Metal Gear Solid 2, then it's Metal Gear Solid 4. And then rising. And then rising. Again, I don't really know how much of the Metal Gear fan base really considers that game to be canon. Rising? Yeah. It's canon. It doesn't affect anything in the core games anyway, so if it's like the hell cares if it's canon. But doesn't it like kind of fly in the face of like what Raiden wanted to do with the ending of Metal Gear Solid 4? What do you mean? Because, like, from, from what I remember, because I, I watched the story synopsis because I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not interested in Belgar Solid 4 that much. Um, at the end, like, really all he wanted to do was just settle down with, you know, the love of his life. Yeah, but, you know, fighting was the only thing he was good at. Yeah, that makes sense. And he's a frickin' cyborg! That also makes sense. A sombrero-wearing cyborg. I seriously hate that, that stupid fuel tank. I almost had it. I really that, almost had it. That mission in particular always makes me laugh. Inconspicuous. Like it's, it's very clear to me that, like, whoever was, like, designing the main missions for Metal Gear Rising was just having, the, like, the most fun of their lives doing it. It's Platinum. Of course they were having fun. <laughs> actually, yeah. I, I actually forgot that was Platinum for a second. There was, um, actually there was a tweet I saw earlier that was like, because there's like a, there's a trend going around, because somebody asked, like, what cover of a song, in your opinion, completely, uh, completely, like, overshadowed the original song, and somebody posted the, uh, a video that was like, some dude with fireworks going off on his shoes, and he put it, and it was to the background music of, uh, <laughs> of, uh, <laughs> It was uh, the background music of uh, Fly Me to the Moon from Bayonetta. Fair. I love Bayonetta's music. I may not like Bayonetta's gameplay all that much, mostly just because I'm really bad at it, but I, I will never say a bad word about Bayonetta's soundtrack. Covers better than the original Scandroids cover of Michael Jackson's Thriller for me. 
I will put traditional Japanese style, the only thing I know. I don't necessarily know if I have, like, a song in particular that, like, I think a cover of it tops the original. At least, like, nothing that I haven't, like, already mentioned. Um... Let me look at my i at my uh, music on my iPhone. I guarantee you, there's probably something there. I mean, like, a am I allowed to count like video game music like covers over the original versions of those video game covers? Like, do, do you get what I'm talking about? I guess no. Like, 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 say there's a game that has a song, and then the game gets remade, and they remix the music. Yeah, like, I mean, I guess that counts. It's still kind of a remix, you know, remake, whatever. Um, because I was going to say, I think most of the music from Yakuza Kiwami is probably way better than the original. Or at least some particular songs. Like, the, the final boss theme in particular, I think, got a massive facelift. Um... I mean, I could bring up sea shanties, but I think that's basically cheating. <laughs> City Escape Classic is, is better than City Escape SA2. Okay, that I will actually agree with. I don't know what kind of black magic they pulled off to make Classic City Escape and Sonic Generation sound so damn good, but they, they did it. In fact, most of the classic, uh... themes seem to be better than the original swarming. They did a great job with the music in general, and... and Sonic Generations, just... just as, just as, just as a general rule, the music in Sonic Generations is great. Well, yeah. I think Storm Eagle Mega Man got a musical uplift with L? What is L? Is it like Mega Man Legends or something? Oh, L is an update to Storm Eagle, okay. I, I, you know, now that I also think about it, and this is just gonna be me nerding out for a second over a particular song, um, Take On Me is my favorite song of all time. And, uh, AHA did a, uh, a cover of it for some TV show, I can't remember, and it sounds, like, extremely, like, somber. Take on me! Well, that's the thing, though. Like, it sounds extremely like somber and sad, and it's it actually works really well, mostly because it's the same dude who sang it 20 years ago. Actually, probably closer to 40 years ago. It's 2022. Oh my god. Um, take on me is weird to me. Why is that? I'm not gonna judge you or anything, I'm just... I'm just yes, he is. No, I'm not! Why would I judge anybody for not liking a song? Mm. I mean, I don't, I don't judge you for not liking his world. Scientist destroyed. Fuck him. That's that's it. Fuck him. <laughs> it just doesn't sound right. I oddly like the Hatsune Miku remake though. That is, I didn't know Hatsune Miku made a remix of Take on Me. I actually might have to listen to that now. Thank 
you, Cordage. I, I, you've given me something to listen to. Doesn't Sega technically own Hatsune Miku? I don't know. Nah, it's a fan-made thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Uh, I got, I got the confused. Uh, let me I'll look this up. All, right, now, mm. all I have to do is get back to the hangar without crashing into anything. Who owns the copyright to Hudson? Krypton Future Media Incorporated is a music technology company based in Sapporo, I think is how you say that, Japan, and is the official licensor of Hatsune Miku. Okay, good to know. Oh, also, there were apparently a lot of, um leaks about an apparent Silent Hill 2 remake coming out. Mm. Questionable decision. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that is the most popular game in the entire series. Yes, but remaking it is a, very, is a big risk. I mean, they're remaking Resident Evil 4, so... That's yeah. Capcom, though! I know. Yeah! Another level! Speaking of Resident Evil, Resident Evil 7 was made to be a lot was meant to be a live service game. What do you make of that? I mean I'm glad it isn't. Because honestly, I think Resident Evil 7 works just fine as is. It didn't really need to be anything except just a return to form for survival horror. Because everyone was like, STOP WITH THE ACTION! Like, basically after Resident Evil 6, and I guess Ra Operation Raccoon City as a, as a, uh, uh, an expansion upon that. But like, eh. Am I the only person here who seriously likes Japanese music for no reason? Portage, I'm a Yakuza fan. I don't understand half of the lyrics, or 90% of the lyrics, in any of the songs that I listen to in those games, and yet I love them. So, no, you're not the only one here by a long shot. Ready to do some mountain climbing, Captain? The drug lord and madman have fled to their hideouts. The Soviet commander you captured gave us their locations. But first, you'll have to knock out the control towers at the entrance to the hideouts. We are still scanning the area for clues to your remaining missions. We will send status info as we get it. But whatever happens, the drug lord and madman must be captured alive. Good luck. I'm in a helicopter. I'm just going to blast them. So anyway, anyway, I started, started blasting. That's right. <laughs> That's you. right. That's right, Ted. You know how this works. <sighs> Got a friggin' helicopter! Alright, I'm ready. I think this might be the last mission. But the what real makes question. You say that? Well, I'm hunting down the main villains. That's the mission. What if the main villains escape to. The, to to, know, the, to their backup, backup hideout? I, I was gonna say Cambodia or something. This is, We're in South America, so I mean, they would that wouldn't be very far. Uh, well, then, uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I, I, you don't I, I, know. You don't said, know yet. I, I, I thought of, like, the most random, like, country I could think of, and I was like, Cambodia? It's the second last. It's level eight? Oh, there's one more after this. Interesting. Okay. 
Ha ha! I knew it! They're yeah. escaping to Cambodia! Shut up. <laughs> mm. I, I wish I could have brought the F-117. Like, I kept slamming into stuff, but also I was... I, I didn't run out of fuel, I... Infinite ammo, it's... That's a TANK! ARE WE DOING THIS AGAIN TO ME, GAME?! Apparently we are! An incredible capture of a bright green meteor over South India, and everybody's either making jokes about the BFG-10,000 from, uh... Doom Eternal, or they're making jokes about Dragon Ball, as expected. Teddy, they will choose either Cambodia or San Marino. I, I, I actually don't know where San Marino is. Like... In relation to... <laughs> tank? What do you think? Yeah, that's a tank. Wait, San Marino is in Italy? Oh. Interesting. I've never been to Italy, but I've always wanted to go there. In particular, I've always wanted to go to Venice. And the reason, basically, is just being I'm a massive nerd for Indiana Jones. Yeah, so, I kinda saw that coming. Uh, there you go. Ah, oh, Venice. I just want to go to America or Japan for the cars. I mean... That's a very viable option. Although, oddly enough, now that you've brought that up, it, it you've also reminded me that I haven't seen Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift, which apparently is like a fan favorite to a lot of people. England is the most boring for cars. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. I wouldn't know, honestly. I've ne I've I've been to England once when I was like a baby. Don't you remember the cars? No. Why not? Because I was too young to really like, I guess, wake up for lack of a better term.
Why do I keep accidentally meleeing uh, explosive enemies? When it came to our speed limit laws, when in America you can do 210 on a 65 mile per hour limit and only get fined $500, that is, that, honestly, I would... What? Look, I'm still in the process of getting my driver's license, but, um, I'm pretty sure if you were doing 210 in a 65 mile an hour lane, you'd probably end up getting arrested. <sighs> Am I wrong? Mm, that's excessive speeding. Best case scenario for a major ticket, possibly losing your license. Yeah. Like. run right into an AA. Uh, surface air missile, actually. Oh, a, a mobile SAM turret. That's not Oh, good. yeah, that's really nice. They're guarding their uh, nuclear missiles, which apparently they have a lot of. I don't know why they didn't launch these way sooner. Because they needed to make threats before they did it. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. Uh, again, they needed to make threats. They were gonna they wa launch them anyway. Yeah, but they so need to why go. bother with the threat? I, uh, I was about to make a joke, but uh, it was gonna get really political, and I don't want to do that. Unless you give me permission. Go nuts! I don't care. I was gonna say, just ask Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Friggin' till tell Kim Jong Un that I have a nuke button, and then mine works. I mean, it's... it's true? I mean, yeah, but you don't go throwing threats of nuclear war out over fucking Twitter. Sure you do. Uh, I, I mean, evidently he does. He broke the mold some... somehow. Reminder, this protagonist considers someone setting off nukes as someone showing off. Yeah, he did say that earlier. <laughs> Sounds like something that you hear, uh... Not David Cage. David Hayter say a Solid Snake, like, Wow, this guy has a lot of missiles, huh? He really must, like, show him off. Shh! Hey, you seen one nuke yet? Just kinda get used to the rest. Yeah, that 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 is definitely something that Solid Snake would say. <laughs> I can imagine him saying something like that. Discord sends nuclear threats because they didn't get the right meme. <laughs> Jesus. I did not expect to win on my first go at it, so that's fine. Is this still the same, like, level you were playing before this, like, the 8th? The this is still the 8th level, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know if this was, like, the last level. Like, I, I turned away for, like, a second, and then suddenly you... We already established, apparently, it's not, so, yeah. <laughs> but now I know where a lot of stuff actually is, because I had to do a lot of searching for the stupid missiles. Well, well, there you go, so the experience wasn't completely wasted. No, no, not at all. Part of the, I mean, it, 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 it's one of those old games with trial and error situations where it's like... Yeah.
might not be better flying around. Don't you play flight sims? This is an isometric. It's not quite the same beast. That makes sense. Oh my god! Just, just kill me, it's, it's fine. I don't even care. <laughs> you sound like me when I was playing I Wanna Be The Guy. Well, the very first mission starts in an alert zone. So it's like, suffer. I'm like, okay. Suffer. Wait, okay, guess I'll suffer. I know where I'm at with it, yeah. Rolling around at the speed of a Comanche. I was going to say plain, but... Fun fact, red and green beta lavender town theme should be the creepiest iteration of the series. Is that the case? They changed the tones a little bit for the re-release. Oh yeah. How true is that whole creepypasta thing? It's completely made up. Okay, I, I, I was about to say I, I thought it was, but meh. Hi, Kane! Uh... Okay. I'm tired. It, it... I just woke up. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> Good morning! Good morning! Good 5.30 p.m. in the morning. Good morning. Well, I guess for you it's... Welcome back to my suffering. <laughs> yeah, he actually beat the snow level. Cool. Yeah, um, I was there, and I was, like, on the verge of, like, I don't... I, I was like, I don't even want to breathe. <laughs> so I feel like if I... I feel like if I make the slightest noise... I'll kill you. Yeah. 
Or more, more specifically, that you would end up dying. Those things do reason. 200 points of damage a shot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> the next one will do 300. I I would hope not. It sounds pretty gross. It, it, oh, uh, it is really gross. Hello, Cordage. Yes. Kane is here. Jeez, that was some. Ex explain this third person. This is this is Kane. Hi, I'm sleepy. Who is Kane? How are you? Is Kane even real? But who? But who is Kane Oblivion? Find I am a figment of your mind. On Dragon Ball Z. Shut up, Ted. <laughs> I am probably the least qualified person in this call. You city. are! Like, you I really am. are, actually. <laughs> I mean, I could have said, like, next time on Powerpuff Girls. Powerpuff. I mean, I do love no! the Powerpuff Girls. I love the Powerpuff ah! Girls. Oh. That, that, <sighs> thing, that, that thing completely whizzed by your tail. I'm acutely aware of what happened! <laughs> I don't know, Josh. I think you missed it. <laughs> Kane and I are just here to cause Josh suffering. Oh, don't worry. I do it all the time whenever I talk about Sonic Riders. Oh, Christ. I'm falling free in the wind. In the wind. In the wind. Free to be me in the wind. In the wind. That song is the best opening. Love it. Why are you here? You weren't here last time! Oh, You were. Next time on Boom Gear, Josh commits arson, Kane sleeps, and I try to spread information. What, what about me, Cordage, huh? Did you forget that I exist? Am I, like... Am I that uninteresting? Um, yes! Thanks. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that hurt. That hurt really bad. Oh, the I is you. Okay, well, that, that makes sense. I thought yeah. Baba is you. Back. Just what I needed, okay. What'd you get? Armor! Armor. Perhaps a barter is warranted. Sh shut up. Shut up, Raul. Nobody likes you. Why not Zoidberg? N well... Zoidberg? Zoidberg should be mayor of a town called Zoidberg. And then the official motto would be whoop 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 whoop. Yep. Okay, vest. Crips. Kane? What's up? I need you to do me a favor. What would that be? Remember all those times how I, uh... In the 
past how I've uh, professed that I uh, that he loves you. <laughs> no, um, I, I was gonna say, uh, all I was the times... gonna say that you were a scrub for not beating Mega Man, but you know. <laughs> uh, what I was going to say was, um, you remember all the times that I professed that his undying wishes to be with you forever? <laughs> I need to take care of these goddamn dishes. <laughs> Um, that I was going to enjoy the new Saints Row. Yeah. Okay. Can you go back in time and kill me? No. Curse it. Curse it all. I'll eventually try it out. won't be anytime soon. I know, I very well know the next game I'm buying. That being? Star Ocean, the Divine Force. Oh yeah, that's coming out next month, isn't it? Yes, it is. Crap. So, that's coming out, Persona 5's coming out on everything else, um, Modern Warfare 2's coming out. I, uh, Vindication of... Vindication of Go on. Uh, Okay, I was good. I was reading what Zach was putting the con in the chat. Uh, vindication of all the judgments I and many others had from the announcement trailer alone sure is sweet. Uh, about what? Saints Row. Uh, Twenty five I mean, cents, Teddy. See, I think it doesn't help the fact that I marathon through Saints Row three and I was in the process of playing Saints Row four when the new game came out, and, like, playing those games just reminded me how good they were. Or at least how fun they were, to to a certain degree. Meanwhile, here I am, just like... Saints Row! It's, it's, it's a game! I don't care what everyone says about it, I'm gonna at least try it and then I'll get my opinion on it. You, you go ahead, like, you may find something about it to like that I didn't. You may like I how just... basic it is. Oh, for Christ's sake, Josh. I'm just, no, I'm, that's not even a joke, I'm, I'm being serious, he might like the simplicity. I mean, yeah, yeah but like... It doesn't do anything really exciting, but maybe he'll prefer that. I mean, to be fair, I do prefer Saints Row 4 because of the superpowers, like... Oh, uh, well, maybe you I won't prefer... like it better, I don't know. Well, I, I, well, I mean, I might end up liking it more than Saints Row the 3rd, because, like, as much as I, as much as I enjoyed Saints Row the 3rd when, when I actually played it, it was my first Saints Row game, then I played 4, and I'm like, oh, god, this is way better for me. Oh my god, this is infinitely better. The humor is so much better, and just the superpowers make the game way more playable. I don't- I don't like GTA. Like, I- I just- I don't like GTA. <laughs> I should have spent all that time doing the super awesome customization of your car in that game until you realize that you're never gonna use your car. Oh, I didn't customize crap when I played Saints Row 4 with cars. You I did. I was like, this is because the customization was actually really good, and then I realized, wait. It was uh, the same customization from Saints Row the Third. Literally, literally, almost all of the content from Saints Row 4 is just recycled from Saints Row 3. They didn't even change that much, which is See, fine. Like all the customization was great. That was never a problem in Saints Row the Third. See, my my whole thing with Saints Row 4 is like, yeah, it has a lot of problems, but when it gets something right, it gets it right, and like, after that, I forget about all the problems that the game has, because it's just a lot of fun to play.
my thing with Saints Row 4 is that I still agree it shouldn't be a Saints Row game. Like, really shouldn't be a Saints Row game. I wish Saints Row 4 was what Agents of Mayhem actually was. That makes sense. Saints Row 3's canon ending should have stayed reversed. What? What's the canon ending? I actually don't remember. The, the ending I got was where you go to save Kinsey because I refused to let her die. Or was it Kinsey or was it Shauna that you go to save? I I don't remember. You mean Shandy? Shandy, Shandy. yeah, sorry. Yeah, because I know that, like... Yeah, Shauna is from uh, Legend of Dragoon. Yeah, no, I, I, I fucked up. Um, I, uh... Because uh, I know that, like, at the end of Saints Row 3, which I gotta say was a really anticlimactic ending, you either have the... You, you either have the choice to go and save her, or you go to kill, uh, kill Bane. And, uh, I chose to save her, because I was like, I might get another chance to kill him in the future, but there's no way that I'm letting her die. Yeah, I, I saved her too. The canon ending is save Shondi. The other ending where she dies and the Saints declare Steelport a new nation from the U.S. was the original canon ending. That sounds stupid as hell. And not even in, like, a Saints, like, stupid kind of way. You know what I mean? Like, it sounds just dumb. I think... I don't like that either, because Saints Row 3 already had a controversial... Uh, like, it had a controversial thing with Johnny Gat dying. So, like... Why are you killing off a second beloved character? And, they all, and then they brought them back in the very next game. Yeah, but that doesn't matter for Saints Row the Third. Oh no, no, I know. I'm just. I, and I, the only I, reason they did it is everyone complained. Yeah. yeah. And, and then when you bring in aliens and dimension hopping and time travel and shit, it's like, well, there you go. To be fair, it was. Oh no, it was. Glorious. I'm glad that I'm glad that Johnny Gat was was a thing in Saints Row 4 because I I know apparently. He's I swear to God, if I can shut down now, then we really bad. I did. I did. You you okay there, bud? I won't be. Don't you? Don't do it, game. Don't do it. <laughs> don't you? Josh, think about Josh it. is like panicking. I. Did all the missions. All I have to do is friggin' land. Well, then... Yes! Woo! Can we get some applause in the chat? Ugh. And then they buggered Thor's ending by saying time travel is totally a thing if you get the 100% ending, but you can't use it to save her. But I just want Saints Row 2 again. Well, you can still play it. I'd rather, th I'd rather them just go back. We are now live at the White House. The president is shaking hands with our heroic pilot. Yes, uh, they can allow Thanks to him, the drug uh, lord and the madman go on trial today in the federal courthouse down the street. The president is now congratulating... Ladies and gentlemen, the White House is under attack! I've just been told that a small force has entered the city and has helped the drug lord and madman to escape from the courthouse. Uh, listen, uh, we they are now totally... at large in Washington and are terrorizing the city. We have this totally under control, people. <laughs> we're going to do a lot of shooting, <laughs> a lot of blasting. Uh, we're going to be totally fine, don't you worry. Uh, uh, Melania, can you get the condoms ready? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who I piss off with that. That was I. I, I did that purely for a joke. Actually, wait, when, when was this game made? First, I gotta protect the, uh, 93, so the, the, the president's model is actually based off of Bill Clinton. Oh. 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 I'd rather than just re- I, I'd rather Mr. Than President, we forgot the first lady! Who? Just get my secretary, that's all I need. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> That's funny, but God. <laughs> I get my secretary. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Ow.
That actually really hurt. Uh, 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 that hurt. Ow. <laughs> Uh, it's like, you know what it reminds me, <laughs> what that just reminded me of was, um, uh, you didn't play COD Zombies, did you, Josh? Nope. So, in Black Ops 1, when you completed the campaign, you unlocked a map called Five, which was where, it was a map where you were in the Pentagon, and you played as, uh, JFK, uh, Castro, uh, Richard Nixon, and, is it McLamara? Is that who I'm thinking of? I don't know um, who you're thinking of. Uh, let me uh, let me look up the actual names because I I don't want to butcher this. Five, Black Ops. Let's see. Someone's remaking Sonic and the Black Knight. Why? I don't know, but that's cool. I guess. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, John F. Kennedy, Robert McNamara, Richard Nixon, and Fidel Castro. Uh, cause, like, they all meet to, like, uh, talk about the Cuban Missile Crisis, and then a bunch of zombies break into the Pentagon. And, J and JFK is just like, Zombies. Gentlemen, at times like this, our, our, our option to retaliate must be, and has to be massive, in order to deter all forms of aggression. The dude who did JFK, I actually thought, did a really good job with his voice. It's like the stereotypical, like, Massachusetts accent, but it's it's funny. Ooh, Sonic World DX. Question! How did they get tanks into Washington, D.C. a second time? Once! Okay. Someone screwed up, but once, fine. Twice! Okay, what are you doing? Come on now. Zombies, JFK, 1962? Actually, I don't know when that takes place. If it was during the Cuban Missile Crisis, then... Uh, I did not go to college. <laughs> yeah, it would be 1962. Thank you. Thank you for establishing that. I appreciate... Yeah, I, 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 I did not go to college. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it, it, to just, to be honest, it's been five years since I've been in school, and, um, I, I, I don't, I don't know what else to say. High school moment, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure we talked about the Cuban Missile Crisis when I was in high school. I just, I don't I'm remember a damn thing about I, I, I assure you, you did. It was the closest our country ever came to a nuclear holocaust. Yeah. I just, I, I, I love the, the interactions. It, like, it, for some reason, it weirdly enough, like, reminds, no, it's the closest the world got. Well, yes. Our country, the world, and... Same thing, really. Shut the fuck up. Apparently <laughs> someone's making a fan game to combine elements from Klonoa and Sonic. Interesting. How yeah. exactly? Huh? Uh, take Klonoa and make it go really fast. That's... That, that's it. That's that's the game. That looks about what it's trying to do. Yeah, but Hiroshima was a time when only we had nukes, so we could drop them without having to worry about someone else doing it in return. I'm gonna go gut school in the morning. Thanks for hanging out, Cordisha. Also, I would... I'd rather them just go back to the style of Saints Row 2. I love 3 and 4, but... I'm self-aware enough to know that that is the exception rather than the rule. <laughs> Zachris, I saw your message. 
What? <laughs> he was... <laughs> He was like, it's it, it's only okay when we nuke people, Josh, 2022. Yeah! <laughs> I stand by that! All they had to do was surrender. Uh... Hmm. I, no, I'm not gonna say what... All they had to do! I'm not going to say what I was about to say. Not going to do it. No, but you are right. How the hell did they get tanks into Washington? I don't. They've done it twice in the, in the in the same game, and I'm like, this is weeks apart. What is the rest of the, our military force doing? What's our what are we spending this money on? Is it just to pay me? Like, where's the National Guard? Also, I better be getting paid a lot for this crap. You better get a Medal of Honor for being a war fighter. Nothing? No. That's what I figured. What? Did, did you miss what I said, Kane? Huh? Did you miss what I said? Yeah, I did. I said he better get a Medal of Honor for being a warfighter. Ah, uh, I get it. You, you better be paying me for this. None of this serving my country bull crap. You give me some money now. <laughs> I'll have my secretary draw up the paperwork. That's right. <laughs> Christ. Drug Lord hijacked a tour bus. He's got a bunch of tanks in town, but he's gonna hijack a tour bus? That's his way out? Lovely. Oh, I could get in one of my men's tanks and get out of here in style. Or, oh, no! This American tour bus! Yes! But yeah, my my next my next purchase my next new game is Star Ocean. I'm probably gonna I'll probably play it for a little bit, but I really I've been super burnt out on RPGs. I just wanna make sure that I get a copy. I really wish that as, as a side note this is such a random thing but I, I just gotta complain about it because it angers me whenever I see this dumb thing 
Um, people complaining about the new Saints Row game. Uh, it's nothing to do with their complaints. It actually has everything to do with what they call it. Stop calling it Saints Row 5. It's not Saints Row 5. You know how I know this? There's not a 5 after it. It's also a prequel. No, it's a reboot. Yeah, it's not a prequel. Really? Yeah, it's a reboot. Cause I, I thought the whole thing was like, it's how the Saints came to be in the first place. No. It's a reboot. None of the characters are the same. They're all completely different. Well, then in that case, it's... it's probably it's not good. Saints Row 5. Okay, to anyone who sees this, did he complete the game? No, not yet. He's on the last level, though. And the other game that suffered from this was the Devil May Cry reboot. Everyone kept calling it 5. I'm like, y you people don't know math. There is no 5 after that. It is a reboot. You just call it DMC DMC. <coughs> call it DMC Squared. Yeah, it sounds dumb, but you might as well call it that because it makes more sense than calling it DMC 5. You know, this level actually wouldn't be hard if not for the fact that there's very little fuel and you have to spend most of it running around trying to find the enemies. That sounds like a pain in the ass. Indeed. Don't worry, it is. I figured. Also, there's no armor pickups as far as I've been able to tell. I haven't seen a single one this whole time. Pretty gross. There's no, there, there's, there's no armor in. Uh, there's no armor in Washington D.C. I find that very hard to believe. Not for me, man. I'm looking at a bunch of stuff that was released at Sage a few days ago, and I feel so bad for Sonic developers. Why? The amount... Because everyone hates would... them no matter what they do? Uh, I mean both fan devs and the real devs, mostly because it's gotta be so painful making those levels. Like, oh my god. Whee! Like, you have to make, like, quintuplet or more the amount of level than most other 2D platformers because you have to, you have to design it so that you can run fast through it. Nah. You, you can do the same amount as everyone else, and then you can finish the level in, like, 5.7 seconds. Yeah, that, that's kind of the idea, so it's like there's so much more work involved building levels for Sonic games because not only not only do they have to like not only do they do not only do they have to be <sighs> The difference between making making a Mega Man X stage and Sonic stage is drastic and when I look at it, I'm like, ow, that would be painful. The sheer amount of work to make, 
to make the difference between like a five minute stage in Mega Man X and a five minute stage in Sonic is insane. People don't usually think about that though. I know people don't. Trust me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's about the man hours that goes into making a game. Why you only specify men? Are you implying that women can't make games? You, you sexist piece of shit. <laughs> you know, I was trying to think. I was trying to think. When did I imply that? And then I realized too late. They're like, oh man, hours. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, man. I mean, I mean, I can't even deny it. You got me on that one. I mean, I would deny like, it. That's a ridiculous statement. He's being ridiculous. He's being intentionally ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, no one, no one thinks about the sheer amount of time that goes into making a game. It oddly enough reminds me of, like, a lot of tweets I've been seeing recently from, like, developers where they're like, look, we, the, people think that, like, when it comes to, like, patching an online game or something like that, that it's as simple as, like, flipping a switch, and it's... Really not. not. I think... I think I think the thing for me is I know that sometimes I can get a little snippy about that. What? You it can? can? No. Look, I, can... I PSO too. How are you? <laughs> uh, I, I I was about to say, Kane. No offense, man, but you're like the snippiest person I've ever seen when it comes to certain games. Oh, absolutely, but that's for a different reason. That's that's uh, for that's, you're, that's for you're... just betrayal. You're about um, as snippy betrayal! as a goddamn... You're about as snippy as a goddamn pair of scissors. Snippy snap. I mean, I thought you, I thought you were gonna say a snapping turtle, but okay. Uh, no. Because, that too. Well, I mean, but snapping turtles go snap, S scissors go snip. You're a lobster. Why yeah. not Zoidberg? <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. But. I understand how much time goes into games. I understand how much effort it takes to patch. I understand how much time it takes to change things. I Do get you that. understand it? Do you really get it? Do you get it? Do I do. What they as, go as, as someone who's programmed in Java, who fixed one issue and then seven more popped up, and then I fixed those seven, and then 32 more came up. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sucks. Okay. Coding is horrible. I refuse. My issue ultimately comes down to the gaming industry and how people are horrible people. And how that is killing off gaming for me. Horrendously so. See, my main issue has practically nothing to do with that. Her issue also comes down to not understanding coding sometimes. I mean, I I don't. I, I if you ask me to program you something, I'd be like, every every time you yell about a game on Xbox One not having 60 FPS, yeah, it's it's clear you don't know how that works. Why- why you gotta throw shade at me like that, man? Because it's just true. Like, it just depends on the game, it depends on what is worth their bottom line, it depends on all of that. Like, I know it's frustrating, but there's just a lot of variables to it. I also prefer playing on console, but I can't do that for certain things right now. <laughs> I gotta use a PC. Have to do anything. Don't have to, but if I wanna play, like, 
so like uh, God Sonic. <laughs> I almost said Sonic Star Force. That's right. <laughs> the latest game. <laughs> hey man, I'd play a game called Sonic Star Force. That that actually sounds pretty dope. That's that's the latest honest. game. The latest crossover in Mega Man. Hey, hey. come on. Star Force. And so Mega Man Sonic Star Force. That'd be that'd be pretty dope. Would that not be dope? Come on. Yeah. You know the and then oh, Pegasus is brought <laughs> over to the Sonic dimension and fuses with Sonic and becomes Sonic Man. Uh, oh no! No, not Sonic Man! No! No! That is the bad reference! Bad Kane! Never say that again to me! <laughs> Sonic I mean, Man? Be, wait, I mean wait, he could be what? Sonic at me. I, I'd actually prefer that over Sonic Man. <laughs> it, 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 what, what's wrong with Sonic Man? You don't know what Sonic Man is, do you? No, what, what are you talking about? Sonic Man's a character from Sonic 06. He claims, uh, he's, the, he claims that he's the real oh, Sonic. Oh, that, that guy! And challenges you, the literal real Sonic, to a race. And yes, he does run as fast as a normal human being, and yes, it is a stupid mission, and yes, he is annoying and dumb, and I hate him. He has the glorious balls to stand there in front of an obviously blue hedgehog who can obviously run faster than him and say that he is the real Sonic. Exactly. The nerd. <laughs> Kane got it. Yep. The Martin. answer. The, the answer <laughs> is yes and no. Where is this last guy? Where's that dang last guy? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the most annoying part of this mission is, 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 is finding everyone because no one gets marked on your map. So you're just going to have to fly around until you find them. You know what they say, the more the merrier. The worst part is that if I knew where everyone was, this mission would not be that difficult. You just gotta find the computer room! There he is! Uh-oh, I'm not- no, 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 no! Okay, yep, I knew it, I knew it. I don't remember how hard game development is. Yeah, and, and how snippy I can get. Look, I can get snippy, but most of my snippiness is directed towards people who are completely 100% oblivious to their own level of sheer stupidity Stupidity on how much they are ruining the game industry for certain people and for how absolutely aggressively idiotic they are to not realize that they're the ones causing everyone else's problems. Goddamn, Kane, you're going off. Oh. Josh knows exactly what I'm talking about. I know exactly I what he's on about. I got I got really mad the other day. <laughs> uh, what may I ask? Basically, everyone getting angry at Wind Waker because they're a bunch of children. <laughs> angry at wait at the, the you mean like the art style thing? Yes. Yes. Oh, for Christ's sake! Are we really it, gonna do this? Are we? Because I'll do it. I'll do it. it. And wor worse than that, though, like, basically whenever, basically whenever a franchise that was never meant to be a certain way forcibly changes direction, and then people who never liked that franchise to begin with jump in and are like, yeah, this is how it should have been from the beginning. Like, no, you should have never been here in the first place, and go away. You're not welcome here. How'd they get nuclear missiles into Washington, D.C.? That's a good question. I mean, aren't there... That there may already be nuclear missiles in Washington, D.C. YOU KNOW WHAT I MEANT! But we don't know. Oh god. Oh no, I can make a really bad joke. 
Uh, but like, Kane, like, are we really gonna... Do, do you really want to bring this around me, the Wind Waker guy? Coming from... Teddy, Teddy, listen, when when did you become a fan of Wind Waker? When I was, like, three years old. When was that? Like, the year it was fucking released? Cool. Um, I'm basically ten years older than you, and I was a fan of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. He was a fan of these games before it was cool. That's what he's trying okay, to say. Okay, boomer. I... <laughs> I... I hope you get that I'm joking. I need you to understand that, like, y you thinking that... Look, 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 Teddy, I know Wind Waker's your favorite. It's one of my favorites, too. That's why it angers me just as much as it angers you. Like, I don't know what you're trying to prove with this statement, but... We, we both adore Wind Waker, and in my case, I was there, and conscious He was there, of... man! You don't like, know what it was like. It, it, it's, it's mostly an excuse for me to gush about Wind Waker again, because I will take it's a opportunity. It's a great game, and everyone who complains about the art style... Is a every, dumbass. Everyone, everyone who is reasonable about complaining about the art style is fine. Anyone who is not reasonable about the art style are a bunch of idiots and children. Look, if you don't like the art style of Wind Waker, that's okay. I'm not gonna, not gonna yell at you for preferring how Ocarina of Time looks or preferring how Twilight Princess looks. Yeah! Did you do it? I did it. Booyah. Woo! Game is done. Hopefully. Like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna sit there and say Wind Waker is a terrible game because it has self dating. Get out of my franchise. You're, you don't, you're not welcome. Congratulations! You saved the world from nuclear disaster once again. It gets easier every time I do it. Without your heroic efforts, the free world would have been forced to submit to the insane demands of a dicti dictatorial madman. Yeah, I hate that kind of stuff, too. You and your co-pilot should head outside. There's a few people who would like to say hello to you. I beat the game! Final thoughts? I already love this game. Ah, alright. Plot were is you ridiculous, there? but I love this game. Were, were you there, man? Oh yeah, I played this as a kid. I never beat it as a kid. Now here's a question for the stream. Alright, there's two other Genesis games. This is the middle one. The first game in the Strike series is Desert Strike. Do you want me to go back to Desert Strike next? Do you want me to move forward to Urban Strike next? Or do you want me to go to the Sony PlayStation with Soviet and or Nuclear Strike? Choose wisely! The Devil May Cry route and go... Go 3, 4, 2, 1. This one. is two! So now you've got to go with four, and then three, and then one. I can create a poll in the chat! Oh yeah, do that. Forgot about that. By, by the way, Josh, uh, I sent you a message in DM. <laughs> Ask my community. There we go. Oh Christ, Kane! <laughs> I listed them in chronological order, so. Uh, can, can, can I just say the joke you you wanted to say? I mean, it's up to Josh. Uh, 
did. Jonathan, you I did. sent it to you in DM. You're not wrong! <laughs> in the credits they wrote, are you still there? <laughs> Wow, Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this dude's name is Rod Swanson? Bill Clinton, the president. president. Where's his secretary? Why isn't she listed? Shut up. Where the fuck is Hillary? Uh, 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 Losing Bill, the election. You got Bill! 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 <laughs> Bill Nye, the science guy. So, so what did what did you think of my joke? <laughs> I think that was definitely a joke. <laughs> are you are you glad he didn't say it on stream? Looks like Desert wins. It is the first one, so it makes sense for me to go back to that one. I never got very far in Desert Strike. Desert Strike is, in my opinion, the hardest out of all the Strike games. Desert does not mess around. You will die a lot, and it will not feel bad for you. None of the games, none of the games feel bad for you, but Desert in particular is just like, suffer. Yeah. Also kind of cool how they use digitized actors for the stuff. No animals were harmed in the making of this game. Thank, thank you for that. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know if you'd be interested in this one, Doc, but, uh... The end. Or is it? Dot, 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 question mark. Ugh. Alright. Power off. Let me go get Desert Strike for you guys. I, I don't I don't know if this would make it like a little more fair, but I I sent you a link. A link to what? There there are actually a couple of small ROM hacks for Desert Strike. No. One of them. <laughs> but go ahead, tell me what they what they are. <laughs> uh, this one is called Apache Upgrade. Uh, chain gun does a little more damage, has a higher rate of rate of fire, and loads twelve hundred rounds. Hydra rockets have a higher rate of fire and faster and re and travel faster. Hellfire missiles travel much faster. Total fuel capacity is now 375. Total armor points are now 800 and the maximum number of extra passengers is now 2 or 6 depending on the version you choose. Everything has everything you just said has made me violently angry because it does nothing but make the game easier and that's not what we do in the strike fandom. I mean, if it sounds like the game is unfair already. Like... Aye, that's the point. <laughs> okay, you have to get good around here. These little, these little kids with their little dark souls and their demon souls—they don't know nothing. They know nothing until they've Josh, beat, uh, until Josh, they how beat far, the strike game. Uh, how far did you get in Dark Souls? Out of curiosity. Uh, not very far, but not because it was too hard, but because I freaking hated the gameplay. Mmm. Also, hi, Frankish Rebellion. I do see you there. I mean, there's another smaller one that's just as added the safe feature. <laughs> that's what they got passwords, T Kane! <laughs> Password smashwords. <laughs> Copyright 1992 Electronic Arts. Copyright. This time we work with the Apache. Oh, by the way, uh, so, I feel like bringing something up. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna look this up to make sure it's true, because I don't wanna, like... Listen up, pilots! You're about to begin a campaign to save the world from a psycho madman! Unless you stop this madman, he will oh. start World War Three, or even worse, World War Four. We have a lost intelligence agent in this sector. This agent has been uh, has the madman's nuclear plans. It's up to you to find the lost agent, but first you must complete four important missions. 
One, destroy the radar sites. Two, blow up the power plant. Three, bomb the airfields. Four, hit the enemy command centers. If you want to survive, I suggest you complete the missions in order. The world is watching and counting on you. Good luck! Because we have no other military forces. It just really is just you guys. So... Okay, so this is actually really funny. So... Remember... Uh, I'm going back to a previous topic, but it's for a good reason. So, remember earlier when I was talking about... Uh, the Last of Us remake? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, so... <laughs> Angry Joe kind of did something a little bit fucking funny here. Oh? He posted a new review of The Last of Us uh, remake, or remaster, whatever you're supposed to call it. It's literally just his old review of the PS4 version. Uh, I'm confused. What? That's the joke. D D yeah, do you not get the joke? No, I'm sorry. I missed what game you're talking about. The Last of Us. Oh. <laughs> he, ju he just re-uploaded his old review of the PS4 version with the with the subtitle re-remastered posted in the bottom right part of the corner of, of the of, of the screen. That's great. I really hope people see that video behind that, because really I still do not like that man. Ah, well, that that's one time where it was kind of funny. You, you gotta give him that. Do I don't think I do. Uh, well, then you don't have to. I do think it's pretty funny. EBA, where's EBA? I'm just going down the rabbit hole of bomb hacks. <laughs> oh, there's an Ace Combat game on Game Boy Advance. Eh. Yeah, it's a top-down. Just shoot him up. It's not really Ace Combat at all. But for what that is, it's pretty good. GBA ports? Yeah, and they're widely considered to be the worst versions of the games by a long shot. Oh, now you've got me curious, because they're both listed here for bomb hacks. Be warned! Be warned about what? Yo! This patch completely converts the game from using the dated stripped down Jaguar version or Jaguar Doom engine and instead switches it to a new homebrew port based on Doom Hacks PB or PR Boom port to the GBA. Oh, that's cool. That's just a total improvement mod. That's pretty sick. Wait, who's Fury? Oh, it's, it's, it's just a translation. That's fine, though. Boost Fury is good. I like Boost Fury. What has Doom not been ported to? Uh... <coughs> My toaster. Doom's been ported to a pregnancy test. Doom's been ported to a keyboard. Yep. Um, I'm actually trying to think if there are any, like, legit video game consoles that, like, are, like, kind of like the fucking Atari 2600 that Doom hasn't been ported to. Like, I know there was a port, was there a port for the Genesis or was it only for the 32X? What? I, I think it was just the 32X. I don't think Doom was on the regular Genesis. Point. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <gasps> Golden Sun. Oh, for Christ's sake. Am I the darkness, the curse? Uh oh. 
Quick, they found me! Scare! <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Hikaru Nogo had a GBA game? Same with Initial D. You know what had a, had a GBA port that I'm still surprised did? What? Max Payne. What? Yeah, Max Payne had a GBA port. Weird. And from what I've heard, like, for what it is, it's honestly not bad. <laughs> people, people be freaking ROM ha hacking Klonoa Dream Champ Tournament. And the only thing they did was change Gantz's name to Guntz. Like a man in face. Oh, I feel bad for anyone who uses a translation patch on that game. What game? Mega Man in face. It's not, it's not a good game. What are you talking about? Mega Man in base is obviously the best Mega Man game ever created. No, it's worse Mega Man 8. Unless you really want to play as base. I, no, really it, I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. Mega Man and base revolutionized the Mega Man games. This is the Apache. They used the Apache as, uh, as, as the helicopter for the original, original Desert, Desert Strike. Jungle Strike used the Comanche, and Urban Strike made... Oh, God! Uh, <laughs> that wasn't good. Uh, Urban Strike made up a helicopter uh, and called it the Mohican. Did they just leave, like, all their helicopters after Native American tribes? It's an army tradition to generally do that. Hmm. Alright. It pains me for how small the, um... Your dick is, we know. I'm sorry, man. That was a low blow. Uh huh. Uh huh. I am okay. sad at how small the ROM hacking community is for Battle Network. God! Why? <laughs> RN Jesus was smiling upon me last night, and now he is not. Suffer. I got the purple Halo Energy Sword craftable, and now I can't get anything. It's like. Ah! Um, there's nothing listed here. Odd. Oh, by the way, someone made a, a Mega Man Zero ROM hack where they implemented a bunch of the fixes from the future Zero games back into the first one. Such as what? I'm not familiar with Mega Man Zero. They, uh, they reduced the grinding by, like, to, to like, a sixth of what it was before. Uh, they, they, um, they severely reduced the amount of fighting you had to do to upgrade weapons and uh and uh they removed the they removed the penalty for using uh cyber elves in the in the levels hmm interesting
Yeah. Definitely good stuff, that's for sure. on it. Yeah. Events this week. September 6th, the Gundam Evolution Mission Briefing, East Asia Soft Fall Showcase, and Fear Fest Black Summer. Uh, on the 7th, the NIS America Showcase. On the 8th, Ryugagatoko Studio Sneak Peek Trailer. I need to see that. Uh, on the 9th, did the Disney Marvel Game Showcase, and on the 10th, Ubisoft Forward. Ubisoft what? Forward. It's like basically oh, their Ubisoft version of a Nintendo Horror, Direct. and I'm like, isn't that every Ubisoft presentation? Uh, <laughs> okay, good one. I thought so. You know, I never noticed that. That that bugs me. What? <laughs> uh, I love Minish Cap. Love that game, but I am now realizing that they have reused Ocarina of Time voice clips twice now. How so? They re so so in the GBA version of A Link to the Past, Link speaks with the Ocarina of Time voice clips. And then same thing with Minish Cap. See, I was gonna say, wait, didn't he also do that in Majora's Mask? Wow, it's almost like it's a direct sequel, and that's expected to but, be. Uh, but they, voice. but they reused it. Teddy, Teddy, it is a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time. What did you expect them to do? I don't count that. I'm counting games that are clearly not supposed to have Ocarina of Time voice acting in it. Fair point. It, like, Majora's Mask was made by recycling most of Ocarina of Time. Like, I expect that with it being a direct sequel. But they should not have added the Ocarina of Time voice acting to, to A Link to the Past or Minish Cap. Just seems lazy. I'm really sad that there's not more, um, I'm really sad that there's not more, um, palette. Ah, son of a- Okay, then. I'm really sad that there's not more uh, palette hacks for GBA games. GBA games are shockingly ugly with their color palettes. Like, look at that, look at that sheer difference. I can't tell which This way. helicopter was based off of the Apache. I am telling you, I, I promise you! 
I promise you it was based off of the Apache. Now, they may have gotten that detail wrong, but this is the Apache, at least as far as the game is concerned. So, Teddy. Yeah? The one with the brighter sand? That's the Game Boy Advance palette. Ah. Uh. I hate sand. It's rough. It's coarse. And it gets everywhere. Hold on, let me, let me check something. This is gonna bother me. Yeah, they did get the tail road, the, the, the tail wrong because it's a high. Uh, it has high stabilizers for whatever reason. Don't know why they drew it like that, but it is supposed to be the Apache. I said, damn it, Ted! <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Oh! Ooh! Ooh, that's nice! Oh, but that would break the game in half, though. Oh god, unlimited annihilator beam? Are you kidding me? I, 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 found, I found a ROM hack that gives you unlimited ammo in Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Why? He, he had to hop out and hang with his parents, by the way. He didn't have to do that. Hey. where the crash animation in Desert Strike is the most brutal one out of all the games. You know, at first I thought that this one was going to be, um, something, like, with effort and fun, like, something really deep. Okay, so, 
Josh, I just I just need to read this to you because this is, this is experience. So this is a Wind Waker ROM hack. I'm really sad that Teddy's not here for this. Uh huh. Experience the Great Sea in an entirely new and unprecedented way with the Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker rewritten. A ROM hack that takes the dialogue from the original GameCube classic and rewrites it from front to back to tell an entirely different, unique story within the same framework of the game you know and love. Sounds pretty interesting, right? At yeah. Least, you know, I'm... Yeah. Alright. This is a line that your grandma says. Bring Errol here at once. Dare not disobey me, lest you wish to spend another evening rearranging boats. What? <laughs> Grandma, you, is... Grandma, you okay there? Or... Beetle is like, hey, holy blink, I love customers. What's going on, man? <laughs> He really loves customers. They, they, I, I, I won't lie, they had me in the first half. It's, I was expecting something, um, not that. <laughs> I mean, it, it it did its job. I uh, it definitely caught me off guard. <laughs> that is for absolute certain. First, the good news. <coughs> oh, password, 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 password. I got the password, Kane. Brilliant. The Mad Men secret bunker. Our motherland is under siege, but you said you were prepared for anything! Sir, this attack force is stronger than we thought. Perhaps we should let the Scuds do the talking. 
I'll give the orders to begin the Scud launch at once. The agent you rescued was told has told us where a group of political prisoners are being held and where a POW camp is located. He also said there are some mobile scud launchers at a chemical weapon plant in the same area. So here are your missions. Destroy the radar sites. Rescue political prisoners from three jails. Destroy the power station. Destroy the chemical plant. Capture scud commanders and destroy their launchers. Also rescue POWs from the camp. Proudly mentioned this at this point, as a child, and even to this day, I've never beaten the second mission of Desert Strike, Oof. which is what this mission is. Yeah, but I've never done it. And looking well, at the time, I probably want a time to do it because I'm gonna get my girlfriend from work in like 15 minutes. But oh. but I will see what I can do here. Maybe I can do something amazing. I told you, this game does not care about you.
That was way too bold of me. <laughs> Back in a sec. How goes the level? It's going acceptable so far. Yes, indeed. Oh, I know why I always had trouble with this level as a kid. Oh. I throw you this stupid curveball. <laughs> The scud launchers aren't marked on your map. <clears throat> which is something Jungle Strike doesn't do to like the last three levels. They start not marking stuff, you have to look around. This game is like, no, second level, they have to search. And it's like, why? It's the way this works. Gotcha. Don't know. Yeah, so... Effectively, what I have to do is find one of the commanders in the command post, but the command posts aren't marked either. 
Fortunately, I just found him. So I vaguely recall having to do this. And what I rem I think what happens is if you take too long, they'll launch and you just lose. Like that! Like that! That exact thing that just happened! Uh... <laughs> That exact thing that just happened again. Do you see why they th you like have two seconds tops to blow them up? If you don't have hellfires, you're not gonna be able to. And it's like, oh, okay. Thanks for that. I'm really happy with this situation. Son of a... I didn't want you to shoot at him! I got that one.
Yeah, you would do that to me, game. Ow! God, this game. Yeah, that's about what I thought. Okay, I think I, I think that's enough for me today. Doesn't strike always. It's a good game, but it's not as good as the rest of the series, and it's just so brutal. Yeah. I think it's also the problem is also it's kind of boring. Because they Back. reuse a lot of a, a lot more assets with it. There's less variety in the stages where Jungle Strike is all over the place, and so is the rest of the series. Actually, Desert Strike is like it's the desert. Here, here you go. You know, it's very old school with its approach.